In this lesson, let's tackle some design tips and talk about how Buncee can make you look like a pro at creating visually appealing presentations. What you need to know about Buncee is there are so many templates and great graphics built in, so you don't need to go fumbling around looking for these design elements. That's one of the main things that drew me to Buncee initially, in fact, the distraction-free experience of creating. In creating a PowerPoint, for instance, I'm constantly opening up new tabs, searching around for images or videos. But in Buncee, it's one-stop shopping. All of the searching happens without opening a new tab and letting your eyes wander off to all the distractions that happen when you navigate away from the page you're working in. I know you understand what I'm saying. So first of all, I'm going to talk to you about the backgrounds. Buncee has so many great backgrounds to choose from, organized by category. They also have some educational templates built in, and this library is ever-growing based on requests from teachers. Having a template to start from makes the design process so much simpler. Not to mention that I often am inspired and think of new ideas just by scrolling through the library of educational templates in Buncee. The next thing I want to talk about is animations and stickers. There are so many awesome graphics to choose from to instantly take your presentation from ordinary to fabulous. Seriously though, the graphics have been designed by the Buncee team and they are wonderful. The animations also bring life and energy to your creation. When appropriately placed, it's amazing what these design elements can do for your presentation. You are not limited to just the media that Buncee has created. You are able to do a global search through web images, YouTube videos, and other media from the web. All content that is returned is fair use and an attribution back to the original source is automatically included in any object you pull into Buncee using the search feature. That's phenomenal. There are also writing tools, including text boxes and lists. There are just enough fonts to choose from without being overwhelming. I find that the fonts that are available work well together and, again, simplify the design process. In other programs, I'm often overwhelmed by clashing fonts, but in Buncee, you have choice without being paralyzed by too many options, and what they have available tends to work really well together. In Buncee, you also have the ability to copy any element that you've added. So you just use the little copy icon in your menu. And then I'm going to just add a new blank slide. And then you'll see down here I have the paste option and that's it. I can copy and paste between slides. I can also, if I click on any object, I can use the duplicate. And so I could just duplicate the object, which would work the same in this instance. And now you'll see I have two Buncee men. Another thing that you can do is for any object that you've added, you can add an external link. So here, I'm gonna just let this Buncee man link out to Google and then if I press view, you have to press view to see the link. You'll see that it links out. If I click on it, it goes to Google. If I go back, I have to go back to edit mode to be able to work further. In addition, you can add drawings to your presentation with a click of a button. This is a fun way to customize your presentation with a personal touch. The final three things I want to talk about are aligning objects on the canvas, rearranging layers, and grouping objects. So first, I always recommend to turn the grid lines tool on to help you align objects more easily. So just go up to the settings, turn on the grid lines, and then click done. Now when you move items around, you will see grid lines to help you lock things into place. Layers is another important design element to talk about. The easiest way to arrange things is to just look over here at the right bar. The objects you have closest to the top will appear further to the front of your presentation. You can easily drag and drop the order of the objects to get the proper layering. So if I want to bring this Buncee Man all the way to the front on my presentation, for instance, I would just drag it all the way to the top and voila. Finally, let's talk about grouping objects. Simply hold down control on a PC or a command on a Mac and click the objects you want to group. Then just hit this little group icon, name your group, and bam, your objects are grouped to easily move around. You can just as easily ungroup your objects at any time by clicking this icon. And that's really it. 
that's what I wanted to share to get started with some design ideas in Buncee and why I love it to create visually appealing presentations.